A Mother's Plea by Sophia Papasuliotis At the beginning of time, I lay my body to provide your paths. I offered myself to be the mother of all nature, the divine hostess of life. For a long while, we lived in sweet harmony. I provided for you the way a mother should, and in return, you treated me with infinite respect. I wonder what changed. What fostered this passion and this urge to destruct and destroy until you're left with nothing? In the process, you have killed your own mother. My children, sweet and dear, with your green fingers and soft thumbs, what more could you want? I gave you a life of colour, plentiful scattered with tender fruits and jubilant summer suns. In exchange, you smothered me with plastic, choked me out with noxious fumes. I have cried out for help, shrieked and shouted for you to listen. But I was ignored, and you kept on with your same ways. Your own mother's calls were reduced to falsities, and you continued for another millennium, another millennium of new spaceships and dying species, of industry growth and rising temperatures. My body became a warpath as you tried to fend off death with the same gun it shot you with. The palm I turned for you to grow on is now barren land. Fields of green, which I so carefully stretched across my skin, have been reduced to the faded browns and oranges of rot. What did you do to all the trees I so carefully embedded in my flesh? When you toppled their bodies for fire and furniture, did you think of the roots that still lay in me? Your time is up. The roaring seas I kept at peace for so many years have revolted, and I, your mother, have become the unwilling sacrifice. Tomorrow they may swallow me up, and in that mighty gulp you too will be swept away. There are no changes that can be made. It has been many years since change has been an option. Along with the bees and the soft petals and all the sweet wonders I gave to you, our story will fade. We will be brought to nothingness. A tragic fable of a mother's pleas falling on deaf ears. Mm -hmm.